Developments today after a Supreme Court ruling puts an end to affirmative action programs at colleges and universities across the country. We cannot let the decision be a permanent setback for the country. We need to keep an open door of opportunities. But the ruling means schools can no longer take race into consideration during the admissions process. It overturns a long-standing precedent that has benefited black and Latino students in higher education. Our D.C. Bureau Chief Ben Kennedy is live in Washington with reaction. Ben. Well, Nicole and Calvin, the White House said the high court got it wrong, but this is not the end as they now consider executive action. A landmark decision by the Supreme Court after a 6-3 ruling strikes down affirmative action in higher education, effectively abending the use of race as a factor in college admissions in order to achieve diversity on campus. Chief Justice John Roberts wrote, University programs must comply with strict scrutiny. They may never use race as a stereotype or negative, and at some point they must end. The high court's decision comes after hearing two cases. The first one alleges that Harvard discriminates against Asian American applicants by using subjective standards to score their personalities. The second argues the University of North Carolina discriminates against white and Asian American students by giving preference to black, Hispanic, and Native American applicants, as both institutions did deny the allegations. It is my hope to see a renewed college admission system that recognizes and rewards the multifaceted talents and diverse perspective that each individual can bring. His remarks as South Florida Democratic lawmakers push back on the ruling. Congresswoman Sheila Shirvelis McCormick calls it a crushing and unnecessary setback to economic mobility for communities of color. Representative Frederica Wilson adds, for some reason, every time people of color take a step forward, this nation finds a way to take three steps back. I believe our colleges are stronger when they're racially diverse. And President Biden also directed the Department of Education moments ago to review what tools and policies work to build a diverse student body. They will then give that information over to colleges and universities in South Florida. Reporting live in Washington, D.C., Ben Kennedy, Local 10 News.